Hi, this is Paula Pascual again and I just wanted to give you a top tip that I find works really, really well. And um, basically this tip is regarding these small elements of paper or whatever you are die cutting that they get stuck in the very small areas of the die. Uh, you can see it here that it has released enough problem but here and here and here maybe um, there has been some problems so the first thing that you need to do is to take um i don't know how you call that i think it's called an stiletto or pocket tool and you take away any any material that is in there and then you what you want to do is you need want to take something like this product i mean obviously the product comes in here it's not transparent but this is sticky foam sheets by sticks too i like them but um and what they are is basically foam this is all i have left of six um, pieces of that it comes with and um, basically it's foam is two millimeters thick this is just funky foam regular so you can see that is the, the exact same thickness and what it has on the back is an adhesive film you could i suppose use these put adhesive on the back and then attach it but i find it too much of a fuss to be bothered so i prefer to buy just this and, and get over so uh, what you see is that you only need the small amount to go in into the area so i'm just gonna trim a smaller piece and then cut cut it quite a small usually because of the nature of, of this problem is for smaller pieces so a, that pack lasts a long time so basically i use two two layers to begin with um and that one is even a smaller so you want to put it like so and this trick works for um any die that has got foam on that is um the big size also the sizzlets and i'm gonna show you i think i have got that hand one that you can do the same with a sizzlet but for a sizzlet you would need to do it um with just one layer of foam so now i put it in the adhesive is on the touching the the foam roll it through i'm using my big shot but uh, use your die cutting machine of choice that will take the big size now i could leave it like that but i don't want to leave it like that because if i die cut now something it would create a little bit of an of, of an emboss line around it what i want to do is just remove the excess now when i die cut it i should have done it there as well but you know you can see. when i die cut it you will see the difference i'll take this put two pieces of card that i have here place it in there roll it through so see how there is no paper here this foam is ejecting it this is just not because of anything wrong but basically because the area is so small that the foam gets pushed down due to the strength of the machine and the dye and the paper that you are correct at it so that comes up much easier right i just i just mentioned that i will show you a sizzlet with that this is uh my butterfly from the big shot starter kit uh the one that came with this color and uh, from 2013 and 2014 and um, you can see i have done exactly the same thing and that helps release it and i find it that this is a very very good tip for making sure that the die cut doesn't get indented within the die and it's much easier to release it. Hope it helps. Thank you for watching and check out my blog at uh, www.blog.paulapascual.com. Thank you.